Hey, welcome back. And great job so far. You've come a long way. You've uh, registered for an Atlas account. You've deployed a cluster. You have added a database user. You've configured some security settings. And uh, we're now going to connect to your cluster. So let's go ahead and click the handy helper. And we're going to go back to the overview tab. And we're going to click the button that is labeled connect. And here, I'm going to tuck that out of the way. Uh, we are going to connect to Mike's cluster. Um, we've already added a whitelist. We've already created a user. And now we're going to choose a connect method. So we're going to choose to either connect to the instance via the shell from an application or from MongoDB Compass. Let's start with MongoDB Compass. Now, you'll obviously need to download MongoDB Compass, and here are some handy links to do that. I've already got it installed. So I'm going to copy the link, the URI connection string, to my paste buffer. And since I'm using Compass 1.12 or later, I'll click that. And this is going to give me the connection parameters. I'm going to copy those. And then I'm going to jump over to my Compass app. And I'm going to pull that into view. And I will hit connect. So MongoDB Compass detects that I have a MongoDB connection string in my paste buffer. Pretty smart. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to let it copy that from the paste buffer into the connection panel. And that's got all the configuration settings I need. It's going to give the host name. It is using the new updated SRV record format, which makes it simple. I'm going to use a username and password. This is the user that I created. And I'll add the password that I gave it when I created the user. And uh, we will connect. We will use the admin authentication database. And the rest we can just leave as is. I'll hit connect. And we see that we're already connected. So from here I can create a database. And create database. Once I click into the database, now I can create a collection. Go into that collection and insert a document. as that. So we've launched a new database, we've added some security parameters, we created a database user, and we just connected to the cluster using MongoDB Compass. Stay tuned for a little bit more information in the next video. Thanks for watching.